Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I wanted to talk today about some truth visions of hope. Um, I'm going to dive, kind of dive right into it. It's in a book that the Lord inspired me to write, but here it is. And then I'm going to kind of talk about it briefly. I'll keep this to a five-minute video. I saw a preacher standing in front of his congregation. He was at a large green chalkboard. He wrote on it in big white letters, taking up the whole chalkboard, the word truth. Then Jesus said uh, unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John 14, 61. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things be of good report, if there be any virtue and there is any praise, think on these things. Philippians 4 and 8. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them around thy neck. Write them upon the tables of thine heart. Worship the Father in spirit and truth. Let's go back to the first one. Jesus said to them, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. You know, that's what the world is missing. I mean, I've been kind of watching the news a little bit, um, but it's a mess, you know. Yeah, they do spread a lot of mistruths, both sides, left and right, you know. Um, the right, the media is mostly one-sided, most, mostly anti-Trump. You can hear it in their rhetoric. You can hear it in their other stuff. But I looked on, there's some news medias on the Internet. And, you know, it's like Hillary did this, Hillary did that, breaking news. And they just kind of drone on, and they never really get to the point, and they never really prove anything. I, I get it where, you know, what Trump says matters because he's the leader of the free world. We really need him to kind of be a little more filtered. I, I understand that, you know, what he says does matter. But, you know, the more drama and trauma and just mistruths and misleading stuff, you know, that's what the world is doing. That's what the enemy of this world is doing. It's time for people of God to stand up and tell the truth. Jesus Christ being God's ultimate plan for the salvation of mankind. It's time that we promote Jesus and the truth and quit listening to all this garbage and crap that's going on out there because that's what it is. I'm sorry to say it, but I said it. There it is. I said it. So, truth. Let's just focus on whatsoever things are pure and lovely and be of good report, you know? Why get our mind all wrapped up in all this other garbage and just stuff? And it's like, really? You know, enough's enough. You know, get to the get to the bottom of this Russia thing. If it really happened, why why have there been a little bit more movement on it? Maybe nothing really ha did happen. Congress is investigating it. You know, what's his name? Mueller is, M Mueller is investigating it. You know, it's like, what is going on with that? Why can they not come to some kind of conclusion? Why is it taking so long? I'm not trying to be in a microwave society. I'm just saying, you know, let's get to the bottom of it and move on. So guilty or not, whether Trump's guilty or not, let's just, let's, you know, solve it. And you know what? I'm not trying to micromanage it or just, you know, half the country will believe it and the other half probably won't, no matter which way it goes. So, we need to we need to separate the truth from fiction. And you know what? If Jesus isn't in the center of everything that we do, including our politics, if it's not godly, spirit-filled men and women leading and guiding, directing this country, we're in trouble. What do we expect? You know, it's just it's just stuff. They talk about stuff and, you know, pedophiles and you know people that had sexual affairs with people from 30 years ago and it's just like really where were they 30 years ago why didn't they just come out then you know and i'm not saying that it's right that's not what i'm saying but i'm you know it's like why come out now so anyhow you know that's kind of i mean it's time for the truth to just come out and quit focusing on all this negative stuff and putting jesus first look up some of my other videos Jesus at the center, the election vision. There's some really awesome teachings out there, and it's all about Jesus being at the center. If we don't put him at the center of what we're doing, our life is in a mess, our country's in a mess, our homes are in a mess. It's just a big mess because the truth isn't there. I am the way, the life, and the truth.
No man comes from the Father except by me. So, you know, it's pretty awesome. Awesome time we're living in, the Grace Dispensation. Look up some of my other videos, sharing with other people. Comment. I really would appreciate the comments, good or bad. I don't really care. Just comment, please. I need some comments on my on my on my videos. Thank you for listening and just kind of, you know, Jesus at the center. That's the truth. That's where we need to be. Thank you for listening. God bless you. I uh, hope you tune in soon.